Uh, the building uh, is fairly good size. It's 260 apartments and uh, with an occupancy rate here of 93%. At a high-rise apartment complex, currently this location has got one snack machine and a Pepsi machine. We're going to be replacing these two machines, putting in the same size machine as the snack machine, but we're going to put in a glass front 40 selection drink machine that will hold Coke, Pepsi, water juice, Protopia, Snapple, iced tea, any product that they would like. That is a big advantage, plus the fact that our machines will take debit and credit cards, where these machines don't, it accepts only cash. Uh, this is also a good selling point for any account that you might be going to. Now when we take a look at this snack machine and the prices, what they have, they have their large chips priced at 85 cents. You should actually be at, at a dollar for those prices for your larger chips that are one in um, three quarter ounces to two and a quarter ounces. The candy, they got priced at 90 cents, which is low. That should also be a dollar, dollar fifteen at this point. Uh, they got, just for an example, crackers in this machine. They got crackers priced at ninety cents, and when your cost to it, you buy crackers at thirteen cents. Your crackers should be reasonably priced at somewhere around sixty or sixty-five cents. So their pricing is off on these products, um, and for the pastry, they got it at eighty-five cents your pastry should be at a dollar. So it's apparently this company is not paying attention to what their prices are so that they not only maximize their profit on what they're selling, but at the same time present a fair uh, price to the people that are using